What will you have after 500 years? Wave bird, dad. I'd still have Nintendo Wave bird. Welcome to the channel, I'm Hayes, I talk movies all day, sometimes I talk about games, so subscribe right now if you want to be entertained, and today I want to talk about Omni-Man and the Utopian and which one will win in a fight to the death. Now I'm guessing you already have a winner in mind, maybe you think there's a clear obvious answer, and maybe there is, but we gots to keep it fair. Comparability, strengths, weaknesses, and see if we can prove or disprove what you're already thinking. Also, I'm only going to reference their TV show and not their comic line. They've both had one eight episode season, and at time of this video, only one of them has been cancelled, so Omni Man wins longevity. Now, before we get into this, why Omni Man and the Utopian? Well, not only do they both have a similar set of abilities, they're both family patriarchs, they're both grey but still manage to be older than they look, they're both stubborn bastards trying to operate in a world they clearly don't fully understand, they're both shit husbands and even worse parents, so yeah, I think it's a pretty fair battle. In fact, there's so many similarities, I'm surprised nobody's got sued. Yet. Alright, so here's how this works. I'm going to compare their attributes, let you know which I think is better in each section, then at the end, declare an overall winner. So first, round one, strength. Both Omni-Man and the Utopian are pretty strong. I imagine either one of them can probably beat Stallone from over the top in an arm wrestle, though I doubt any of them can beat Chuck Norris in an arm wrestle, but you know. Anyway, which one is stronger? And by the way, I mean physical strength, not emotional strength. You know, that's important and all, but I'll leave that for if ever I want to do a video on their parenting skills, which they both suck at. But for now, who is physically stronger? They both seem to be equally as strong as each other in terms of what they can lift or push. There's not really anything that clearly puts one above the other. However, because I don't plan on bitching out, I do want to pick an actual winner. I'm giving this round to Omni-Man. Why? Because in the first episode, Omni-Man squeezes Red Rush's head with his arms fully extended. Dude, most people struggle to squeeze an orange with their arms fully extended. This guy's out here cracking skulls. And I don't think the Utopian did anything quite on par with that. So round one, Omni-Man. Round two, speed. They're both pretty fast and probably pretty equal there too. Omni-Man does some worldwide grocery shopping which took about 20 minutes for him to come back to his wife. Whereas the Utopian, took too long to make his wife come. But he did fly to Mars, sort out some anomaly and then fly back in less than a day. Now I ain't trying to work out an actual distance per second, I'm just going to go ahead and use ghetto mathematics to conclude that going to Mars and back in less than a day requires travelling faster than going to a few different countries. So round two, the utopian. Round three, fight skills. I think this round is pretty obvious to be honest. Omni-Man took out the whole Guardians of the Galaxy, I mean globe, on his own, took out the Flaxons mostly by himself, took out the dead soldiers and of course beat up his own son. Whereas the Utopian? I don't think he wins a single fight. Dude is constantly getting his ass kicked, even with help. He's supposed to be the world's greatest superhero and he gets manhandled by a fake Black Star. Not even a real Black Star, a fake Black Star. At this point though, Utopian is like an old boxer who only fights because he's trying to pay off his gambling debts. He used to have class, he used to be somebody, he used to be a contender instead of just a bum, which is what he is. Let's face it. And if you got that reference, put it in the comments. Fight skills easily goes to Omni-Man. Round four, toughness. So fighting is about how much of a beating you can give. Toughness is about how much of a beating you can take. And with Omni-Man, it's kind of weird because he takes out the Guardians of the Globe but gets hospitalized in the process. He got straight up whooped by the modified monster from the Sea of Japan. But then the Hammer of Dawn, Gears of War ripoff by the way, only gives him a nosebleed? How much of a beating he can take seems to depend on who's writing the episode that week. The Utopian is a bit more consistent since he's always taken a beating, but he's never really really out the game. He's never beaten to a point where you're worried about his well-being. His problem is he just can't fight. So who can take more of a beating? That's kind of hard to say since we never really see the Utopian beat to his limit but Omni-Man was dealing with way stronger ops. But because we are picking winners here, I'm going to go with the Utopian only because his ass whoopings make more sense. Final round, attitude. I was going to do intelligence for the final round but by all accounts they're both as dumb as each other so attitude it is. So the Utopian has this whole thing about never ever 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 
killing anyone no matter what, whereas Omni-Man doesn't even value human life. So in a fight, Omni-Man is going for the kill, whereas the Utopian is trying to talk to him for a moment about his lord and saviour. But which attitude is better? That's really going to depend on the situation. In a sanctioned boxing match, Omni-Man will just get disqualified, but in a no holds barred match, Omni-Man would probably get promoted to Executive Vice President of Global Talent Strategy and Development. Personally, I like the Utopian's attitude, it's a noble goal, but I don't think it's going to mean much against someone who will actually kill you. And we are really talking about a fight to the bitter end. So so the final round goes to Omni-Man. Now before I get into my final thoughts, if you liked these shows, check out these shows. They all have a more mature take on comic book characters, The Mandalorian still counts, only on a technicality, and they're all just really good shows. Falcon might be getting a new season, The Mandalorian would probably get a new season but not for a while, and The Punisher, well, very few shows survive the whims of Netflix. Alright then, let's conclude. So if you've been paying attention, you'll know I scored it 3-2 to Omni-Man, making Omni-Man the winner. However, I don't think it's that simple. Omni-Man is a better fighter and has a ruthless attitude, but we really don't know how much of a beating the Utopian can take. For all we know, the Utopian can be like Ali telling Foreman, is that all you got? Maybe, just maybe, try as he might, Omni-Man just can't beat down the Utopian and would wear himself out. I am pretty convinced though that although Omni-Man can be knocked out and the Utopian could very well be strong enough to knock him out, I don't think he has the fighting prowess to pull that off. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. So in the end, they are pretty evenly matched, just in different ways. Kind of like a immovable object meets unstoppable force situation. It's not going to be an easy fight for either of them, but if I had to pick a winner, I'd give the edge to Omni-Man, but only just. But that's what I think of the Utopian vs Omni-Man. What do you think of the Utopian vs Omni-Man? Let me know down below and while you're there, be sure to like, subscribe and drop a suggestion if you don't mind.